Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make this the last video for now. No, the last video in my DIY Dollar Tree farmhouse tips and dupes. Um, I It's not going to be a DIY, so you guys fast forward or jump to the next one if you want to. But I wanted to do was to go over a couple of things. This is mostly a tips video. And then I'm going to highlight um, along the way different crafts that we've done um, in the farmhouse style in the past that you can go back on the channel and you can look. I have playlists on my channel. I Not everybody is very savvy to YouTube, but what it is is if you go to click on my face, the little circle with my face, it takes you to my channel page and then there is a... Um, topics button that says playlists and under there I have playlists I try to keep my playlists up to date and as organized as possible but sometimes there's a double sometimes I skip one it's just sometimes the computer is a computer you know um, but what I do is I have a, a DIY playlist I also have the playlists by different holiday seasons as well as house tours and shoppings and DIYs and all of those things. But I have compiled a farmhouse DIY playlist, which is this series. And um, you can find all of the um, DIYs that we've done to date. Um, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go back and add anything that's farmhouse related on my channel into that playlist. And like I said, my channel is only coming on to, well, it's 23 months today um, since I launched my channel. And I have some old videos that aren't the greatest <laughs> cinematography or editing or um, voiceovers and stuff. So I ask for forgiveness always. Um, I ask for patience as well. Um, because though I might be a wonderful teacher and have great ideas, I was not a great uh, self photographer off the bat as well. Um, but anyway, so to get into it after two minutes of chatting, um, what I wanted to talk to you today was about the last two and a half things. Because we have touched on burlap and we have touched on mason jars and we have touched on jute. But what I want to do is I want to talk to them, talk to you about them a little bit more today. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, the mason jars from the Dollar Tree. Now, this was a mason jar that used to sell at the Dollar Tree. This is a one-quart mason jar, and it's got no embossing on it. It's a completely plain mason jar. Um, this was what they used to sell for a dollar. Um, but then, of course, with the cost of living going up and the prices of stuff being more expensive, they switched to a pint size. This is what they carry now, a pint size clear mason jar. This is not from the Dollar Tree. This is a Kerr mason jar, and I'll tell you about it in a second. The ones that they sell at the Dollar Tree are all plain glass like this, but they're round, mostly. You can get square ones that are mugs, which are pretty cool, um, but all of them have, it's important, not all of them, but the ones should all have um, small mouth lids, and the lids are interchangeable. So there's small mouth lids, which is what this is, this is, um, this is, and I'll get to that in a second, this is, and these are. So if you don't recognize these, these are the mason jar candles. I have burnt so many of these. I actually like to put them, and I think I've told you guys this before, I like to put them on my candle warmer. And once the smell is dissipated after the two weeks or however long, month long I've been using it, um, I like to pour the wax out, take out the little stem, and um, reuse the candle jar, which goes in the dishwasher. You melt out all the, you run hot water on the hot wax, that's residue left over, and then you can put it in your dishwasher. I peel off the labels. They peel off very cleanly. Um, and then this mason jar comes with a solid one-piece lid. Um, the mason jars at the Dollar Tree come with two-piece lids, like this one. Okay, and occasionally you can get a one-piece lid. It depends on what they carry at that store that, that day. So... Mason jars are very farmhouse. They're a great way to store stuff. So this, like I said, is a one quart mason jar that I have a chalkboard label on. These stickers I got from um, Walmart in their section of where their country craft stuff is. They have like mason jars and stuff there. But I got these labels. That's a lie. I just realized what this was. These were from the Dollar Tree with the chalkboard label lid on it. 
I'll show you what I mean. This is a one piece black chalkboard label. This was at the dollar. This was sold at the Dollar Tree last year. Just like this. You could buy like a whole case. The labels from Walmart are these ones. I'm sorry. I apologize. I picked up the wrong jar. So you see they're a little smaller and they fit right in here and they come with uh, scalloped edges and then ones with uh, sawtooth edges. If you've been around for a while and you saw my organized kitchen tour, I have all of my spices in four ounce mason jars in a drawer, all with the different labels on them and solid lids. So this is a really old mason jar that was gifted to me. I don't, it doesn't say ball or cur. Um, harvest time is what it says. And it says Mason on it. And it's got measurements on it. And it's square. Um, if you can see, that's what I'm saying. It's got like corners instead of being perfectly round. Um, so I have these stored with dry goods. So this is uh, peanut butter chips. This is uh, peanut butter chips. This is toffee bits. Um, I have nuts and all these things, but nuts I like to keep in the cool refrigerator. Here's some nuts. These are pecans, and they smell so fresh. When you keep them in cool, mm, I just want to eat them up. Um, <laughs> and this one's not labeled because I just transferred to a smaller jar for you guys to see. Um, so this is a pint size mason jar from Kerr. Now, what I wanted to tell you after we go over, that's what the Dollar Tree provides, these options. Uh, from time to time, they get a big one, and then they mostly carry the small one, is that's very expensive. That is buying a case of 12 quart size mason jars for $12. And if you ever try to buy a case of quart size, not quart size, sorry, pint size mason jars. If you ever try to buy a case of pint size mason jars of bowl or cur, you may find them for as, like the most is like $9, which is like buying nine, getting three free. Um, but if you only need one or two, and you wanna just go to the Dollar Tree, I understand. The Kerr mason jars that I got, 12 of them for $5 on Cyber Monday last year, okay? And I've been using them for all kinds of storage and craft projects all throughout the year. So keep your eyes open for that coming soon. This that I bought this year, I bought, um, these are quart size wide mouth. So this is the other jar size lid. This is a wide mouth mason jar lid. And as what I'm saying is, as you can see that this does not fit on here. You know, it's way too big. Um, but this comes in different sizes as well. And I got a case of ball, wide mouth, quart size mason jars. This particular case was $7.95. So I got 12 mason jars for $8. So that's like, again, buy eight, for get four free. And I use this for storage. So I'll show you. I took this lovely basket that I got from Lisa and Eden. And I took the quart side wide mouth. And I took the, left the ring on, but I took the seal out. And I put three in the front to organize little pens and stuff. And I organized that. I organized that organizer. Um, this one is a wide mouth mason jar that I hold my cupcake papers in. It is the perfect size for cupcake papers. If you're a cupcake baker, you know that your cupcake papers can get like spread out if you keep them in a Ziploc bag or something. And then it's hard to like, when you go to put them in the, the cupcake um, tin, they can wrinkle and stuff because they're trying to jam back into their shape. Um, this is just the best way to keep them. Plus, it's pretty, and it's farmhouse, and it's decorative, and why not? Why not? Sorry, I need to pay attention to this for a second. <laughs> okay. So, along those lines, I have this is a um, half pint. So, this is, this is a pint wide mouth. This is a half pint. And this half pint holds the mini cupcake papers. And because it's the same shape as the wide mouth, um, it, they look really cute on the counter together. So if you've watched my home, uh, my kitchen tour, you've seen them as well. Now, I like I said, we have done so many mason jar crafts. We did the mason jar centerpieces for the wedding. We've done... Um, 
mason jars for the baby shower. We've done um, the mason jar wall hangings, the mason jar chandeliers. It's just a really repetitive theme in the craft, in the farmhouse craft world. One of the things I want to point out to you, though, is this is the cover to a Parmesan cheese shaker. The, the cover to most, I will say most because I actually have one that didn't fit, to most Parmesan cheese shakers fit on the standard small mouth mason jar. Anywhere that fits a standard small mouth mason jar can fit a recycled, upcycled Parmesan cheese container. This mason jar here that says Atlas on it, can you see it? And it's got measurements on this side, was from, I want to say Bertoli pasta sauce. I think it was Bertoli pasta sauce or Barilla pasta sauce, but one of the pasta sauces came in this mason jar that you could use over and over and over again. This is a regular wide mouth and it fits on this pasta sauce jar. Like, just like, just like our recycled candles, right? What are people paying for these things? And they come, keep it out of your garbage and put it in your life. So for a tip, I think I mentioned this in my kitchen tour as well. I take the Parmesan cheese shaker. This one is happens to be in black because it was for a Romano and Parmesan, like a combo. Um, it fits on here. It sits next to my stove. If I need a sprinkling of flour for dusting the surface of the counter, say like for baking and stuff, I sprinkle. Otherwise, I use the spoon. Like if I'm making um, white gravy, you know, you melt your butter, you take your flour. Because it's got the flat measurement, I can measure the spoon off there. Done, done, one and done. Plus it looks really cute sitting on the counter. Okay, so that's mason jars. So one of the cute crafts that I wanted to show you, super easy craft, is take a piece of burlap. This is the um, Dollar Tree supposedly three inch burlap ribbon with the raw edge. And you can take your mason jar, okay? And you can use hot glue, and I wouldn't glue it to the jar necessarily. I would try to glue it to itself, okay? And once you wrap it around here, you can do all sorts of things with it depending on the holiday season. Now, one of the things you could do is stencil letters. So I've seen on Pinterest, people take F-A-L-L -L and put four jars. They paint the jars, sometimes you can, or you could just glue the jute on there and write F-A-L-L -L and fall. And you could take the lids out and make it as a centerpiece. You can leave the lids in and just make it like a cute decor. You could put lights in it. Tons of different variations. You take remnants left over. This was pulled off of the pumpkin that we made um, into the farmhouse buffalo check uh, autumn sign. Um, and look how cute that would be, just glued. Just glued. You can either glue it right onto the burlap. You can glue it right atop, on the top of the lid. Um, buttons look really cute on here. You could take buttons and you could stack them. Take a big button and stack a little button in the middle. It almost looks like a flower, and those are super cute as well. Okay? That's just some tips. Some quick things you can do with, ju with burlap and mason jars. So, now we'll talk a little bit about burlap. Now, you guys know I've gone over the top with burlap. Um, we've done burlap banners. We've done burlap wreaths. We've done, well, multiple kinds of burlap wreaths. Um... We have uh, made a burlap table runner. Um, I have a preview here. That's burlap. That's coming a couple of days. <laughs> burlap, again, is another farmhouse um, staple, uh, country farmhouse staple. Not everybody loves it, but the, the keys to farmhouse are um, clean, neutral, um, retro uh, as far as farm as far as country living is concerned white gray beige um black of course uh depending on the season these are the things that um make up the farmhouse style the reason we use mason jars is because they're clear and they make storage super easy and super functional and decorative like these could be sitting in a ziploc bag in a drawer 
or they could be pretty on display for all of my family and friends to see. Um, not only do my family and friends know where they can find the cupcake papers if they come to stay, but they also know that I love to bake and love to collect cupcake papers. <laughs> But anyhow, so um, I like I said, I'm going to um, skate. I'm going to show you some of the DIYs that we made, and um, I also said that um, I'm going to link them all in the description box down below so that you can go ahead and um, make all or none or one of them. Um, if I had to pick like a favorite, I don't think I could. Because I'll tell you, the stuff that we did for the Rustic Country Wedding last year for Eden, that to me is more, like, special. Like, I'm more emotional about that than, you know, I love them because of the experience of doing them for her wedding. Um, but, you know, um, I made this little wrapped message board with strings on it. And um, it was just a card, it was just a a box picture from the Dollar Tree and I wrapped it in burlap and some jute string with little clothespins and I absolutely adore it. It sits on my um, shelf out in my kitchen with her little wedding picture on it. But I don't really have a favorite. Um, my forever wreath is what I keep on my door all, all year and it is a 14-inch um, a round wreath that's wrapped in the wire-edged two-inch uh, burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And Every season, I clip a new bow to it. Um, and so that's everything. Uh, um, so I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope I've inspired you to tackle something. Check out all of the DIYs that we've done. Check out the playlist down below. Um, check out, you know, what's happening on the channel. And um, share it with anybody you in know might be interested and um, bringing some of the farmhouse into their lives. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video, which is every day. <laughs> Lord willing. If I haven't said it yet, I haven't said it once, I said it a thousand times. But as always, you take care. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <coughs>